hello everybody welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing this look here um so yeah this is my second video if you can't tell um, I put up a beauty room tour video um, about a month ago I know shame on me but um Hopefully it won't be that long in between videos um, of some kind of either hair or makeup or whatever it may be because my channel isn't set on just one thing or it will not be. So if you like to watch, stay tuned. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so right here, I'm um, just ready to put on this Palms Cream Moisturizer and put that all over my face because you want to moisturize before you put all this makeup on. So, here I'm going to go ahead and put on the Philips Mac of Magnesia, Milk of Magnesia, excuse me. <laughs> just put it all over my face. I really don't have dry or oily skin. And this here is the MAC Brow Dip and the Angle Brush that I'm using to put it on with. And before you do that, you just want to brush your hairs in place. All right, and then I start from the bottom, just filling it in because it's very sparse. And they're a little thick because I need to get them done and just going by what I have. So I'm just filling it in on both sides. I'll do another eyebrow tutorial, just one by itself, a little later on for you guys. And here I'm using the MAC. Prolonged wear concealer, everything will be down in the description bar because I know I'm like turn these names up. <laughs> and a flat eyebrow brush to conceal underneath my eyes to sharpen it up, give me that nice, freshly arched look. Get all those little hairs. And here I'm using the LA Pro at the top, which is more of my skin tone. Just blend that out in there. Okay, and here I'm using the MAC Paint Pot. This is in the color Painterly. And here, this is the color I usually set my concealer with, but I've been using it as a transition color by Black Radiance. And this is the Pro Concealer again. I'm using it underneath my eyes, and this is in the color Fawn. And go down the bridge of my nose and just go ahead and buff that out there with the wet beauty blender. This is actually by real technique technique, excuse me. <laughs> buff that out on both sides. Make sure you get up a little bit because you don't want to just stop it right there before it gets to your hairline. That look crazy. And I don't put more product on, just put it on my chin, on my forehead, and on my cupid's bow. Just the leftover product. So, here I'm using the banana powder mixed with topaz. So, I just mix them both up, equal parts. And I'm just going to go ahead and bake. And I actually like baking. First, I didn't do it because I'm like, I don't need that. But it is wonderful and lasts forever throughout the day. And here, this is my favorite contour palette by Black Radiance. I'm going to do a review on this one just that video on the contour because it is bomb putting this here in the hollows of my cheek look at that and we'll buff it out later because it is a little heavy but that's okay and a contour at the bottom not contour excuse me highlight like the bottom i don't know something there and i'm using peanut butter jelly this is the theme of this makeup Starring peanut butter jelly by Too Faced. And here I'm using the color peanut butter. And my. It's just a transition, you know, with a MAC um, brush. And this here is Champagne Pop by Becca. I'm putting underneath the brow bone. Fix it up a little bit. And there I was using the MAC brush as well, 217, I believe, the flat brush. And that's a flat shader brush by Sigma, I believe. Using that color, peanut brittle, 
it'll be in order because I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> and I just love this palette. It's my fave by Too Faced. And using that color jelly with the big fluffy blending brush. And that sketch by MAC just to deepen up the crease. On both sides, kind of go on a C shape. And this is carbon by MAC as well. And just put that right there in the corner to just smoke it out a little bit. Okay. Just to give it a little off. So, next I'm going to go in with that color. <laughs> I'm just putting that a little bit before the black just to kind of merge it all together because we want to blend 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 and this is recorded probably like I think it was like 6 37 o'clock right before I was ready to go to work so I wasn't like ready to just spend too much time blending so I just mix a lot of colors Keep packing them up there and blending them out. And here I'm putting on jelly again just to put a little bit more purple where that black carbon is. And that's by MAC as well. I think that's Amber Lights. And I spray a little fixed plush on my brush. And then get some color and put them just like in the middle of my lid just to kind of brighten up the center as you can see here. And there I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. Which I'm working on this wing thing. It's a little tricky. So yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're going to work on that. So here I'm just taking my Kabuki brush by e.l.f. And just buffing everything out. I'm going to blend everything. And I'm going in with the MAC blending brush. Which is a more denser one and just contour my nose with that black radiance palette contour palette and I'm going back over my contour on my cheeks since I did you know buff it all out and using that middle color just to set the bottom of my highlight underneath my contour here I'm going in with the MAC foundation buff it out and I'm using that black radiance to highlight as well in the middle, everywhere I highlighted earlier. And going in with the champagne pop and just put it on the tip of my nose and at the top bridge. Because I can't do the whole nose because it's, it's a little light. <laughs> but I like how, what kind of, you know, look that gives me. And I'm just showing it off. Peanut butter gelata. Yes, hope you guys enjoy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take out my hair. I just put a little bit of that in the video. And that's how I rolled up. It'll be a separate video on how I actually roll and what I do with the luminous for you. And that's just me showing you. Just squeeze it in and roll it around. It stays. It's like five hours later, it's that curly. And my hair really don't be that wet either. So I'm just Showing you my hair, and we're gonna go ahead and use this by Pat Von D. Yes, and the color will be down below. Thank you guys for watching.